Hey guys, Cece back with another video and today's video is going to be our top five palettes of 2019. first time watching me or my channel make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button also make sure you go ahead and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload you also want to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Yvette Loves Beauty and also following my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley TV all right guys, real quick little break. Today's notification gang shout out goes to Stephanie Cole. Thank you so much girl for being a loyal subscriber, always commenting, always watching. I really appreciate it. So you guys, today I decided to bring you my top five palettes of 2019. If this is your first time clicking on my videos or on my channel, then you've stepped right into the middle of favorites month. So I am giving you guys my yearly favorites sprinkled throughout videos throughout this month of January. So I hope you guys are enjoying favorites month so far and love the videos that you have seen. But let's jump right into these palettes. So first of all, I feel like all of these palettes you guys should already know. You guys are going to be able to guess because if you've been watching me, if you know me, these are the palettes that I've talked about the most. These are the palettes that I've used the most in tutorials and you guys will see me using videos and favorites and on Instagram and all that stuff. So none of these should really be a surprise, but um, I thought I would tell you anyway because you guys are sure to ask. <laughs> First palette, let's just get it out the way. It is Miss Jackie, 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 Ina, and Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their collab. I think it came out somewhere in the middle of the year. I did a full video, full review, full video on this palette. I've used this palette in I don't know how many videos, talked about it in I don't know how many videos. So this should not be a surprise, but I know this is like your millionth time seeing this palette, but I mean, the palette is goddamn gorgeous. Like, <laughs> what else can you say about this amazing palette but that? The colors are just so bold and rich, and I think it's amazing for women of color. I think it's amazing for all women, but I think especially for women of color, just with the boldness and the richness of the shades. The Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows are amazing. You guys know how much I love those palettes, so I don't think there's much more I can say about this baby. I love it, and this will definitely be continued to be used in 2020. So the next palette that I have, I am quite positive, was a favorite last year for 2018 favorites, but I used it so much this year, I still had to pull it out and show you guys and talk about it this year because I used it, like I used it all the time. And it was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. This, I think, ties for first with this palette as far as my all-time favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. You guys know I have a ton of them. I think I have like eight or nine of them, and I don't even have all of them, uh, but I think I have eight or nine of them. So this one, I think, ties for first with this one. Um, the Soft Glam Palette, I wanna say this came out in early 2018, and I purchased it, and I've been using it ever since. They're just like neutrals they're warm neutrals but they're on the deeper side i mean you do get a few lighter shades over here but they're more on the deeper side as a, as a palette as a whole and i love that because this i mean i feel like it's called soft glam but you can get like a serious glam with this palette and you can just do so many looks you can use it for every day you can use it for going out you can use it for any type of occasion that you have this palette is definitely usable and like if this was the only palette that you have I feel like you would be okay like I take this palette on vacation with me a lot because just of the versatility of it I do have one drugstore priced palette to talk about and this is the ColourPop and Makeup Shayla Perception palette Oh my God, I can't count how many times I used this palette and I just kept going back to it. The palette is absolutely gorgeous. And you know, let me tell you, I do like follow Makeup Shayla on Instagram and I don't know, I may watch a couple stories, but I'm not a big fan of, I'm 
not the hugest fan of her as a whole. Like she seems cool, but she just doesn't seem like, I don't know, like if me and her were friends, me and her wouldn't click. I don't know, I could be totally wrong. However, the girl has serious makeup skills, like serious skills. So when she came out with this collab with ColourPop, I was like, okay, I have to try it. And I have been in love with this palette. I think this palette is so gorgeous. And of course it's ColourPop pricing, so who does not love that? But just the colors in it, this is another palette that has some really amazing, bold, rich colors, but then it still pulls you back in with these neutrals. So you could do so much with this palette. It's very versatile. ColourPop pressed shadows are absolutely amazing. Like I can't believe how amazing they are for the price that you pay. So um, if you have not tried them, I think this is a great palette to try. And you guys, I'm not sure if this palette is still available. I will link all the palettes that I talk about down below. So I'm hoping this one is still available. If it's not, I'm so sorry. But I have to be honest with you guys and tell you what I've been loving. And this is it. Okay, two more palettes to show you guys. I think you guys could probably guess one of these little mini palettes would be in this lineup too. And it's the Huda Beauty. This is the Topaz Obsessions little mini palette. And these are other palettes that I talked to you guys about so much because I just love them. I want to say I got this one actually in a boxy charm. I didn't even buy this, but I've been using it since I got it. If you guys can't tell the theme, I love my warm neutrals. This palette is just so pretty. I'm actually using this in a combination with another one of the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes on my eyes today. And if you guys are interested in this look, I do have this look up on my Instagram TV, so make sure you go over there and check it out. But this palette, like, Oh, it just gives me so much life. This is another palette that I feel like you can take with you to travel. And the nice thing about these is that they're sm so small and compact. They come with this beautiful mirror. And I mean the colors, like I said, if you're a neutral girl like me and you don't need much color, this would be all you need for any type of trip that you go on. And you just saved yourself so much space from bringing like a bigger, bulkier palette like this size. The nice thing about those little palettes too is that those little guys are only $27. So I feel like you're getting your money's worth out of the palettes. And last but not least, I do have this Natasha Denona palette. This is the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. I recently bought the Sunset palette and I've been kind of obsessed with that, but I just bought it too late in the year so it wouldn't have made it into this video but the sunrise palette is one that I've absolutely been using like all year I think this is supposed to be more of a like spring summertime palette but let me tell you I use this palette in the fall I use it in the winter I use it in the spring and then I use it in the summer so the colors as you can see they're neutral but they're lighter so you do get those pops of pinks and like purples in there but you also get your bronzes your golds you get your like rust color here. And so this is another palette that you can just do so much with. I'm a huge fan of versatile palettes because I don't like a palette where I feel like all of my looks look the same every single time I put them on. So when I do have a palette that I can do multiple things with, I love. And this little mustard color here, that little mustard color, I've been using colors like that all year. And I feel like that's part of the reason that I pulled this palette out so much was because of that mustard color. And if you guys notice, it's also in this little Obsessions palette here. And so I love colors like that to put in my crease and it really just helps blend out other shades well. And depending on the look, you can really build that color up to be something super bold and super special. So love that color in this palette as with all the other colors. Oh, another nice thing about this palette too is that yes, it's Natasha Denona, but it's not a hundred plus dollars. This palette, I believe only retails for $68 or something like that. Like I said, I'll have a link below so you guys can get the exact pricing, but it's not one of the more expensive Natasha Denona palettes. So if you wanted to try Natasha Denona, but didn't want to pay the high price tag, this is a good one to start with. So that is it you guys. Those are my top five palettes for 2019. Let me know what palettes you were loving last year. I'd love to see what you guys have been using and obsessing over. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.